Hello, YouTube. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and today we're going to be unboxing stuff that I got off of Amazon. Well, you probably know what the stuff is if you read the title, but if you didn't, I'll keep it a surprise. So anyway, let's get on with the <coughs> video. Um, let's get our stuff out of the unboxing basket. And, we'll move this out of the way. Alright, so first off here, we got, um, well, let me open the box. Um, why is this box already opened? Y'all, I did not do that. <laughs> um, why is that upside down? Okay, it's Uno, which you guys might have a few questions. Like, first off, why did you buy Uno? Well, um, because I take Uno very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that it was very hard for me to find a ding-dang set of Uno cards that have no special rules. Like, yeah, I'm like 99% sure that this has, like, no special rules. Really, the only thing about it that's different is that, like, it's supposed to be LGBTQ-themed, but... I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Slapping a rainbow on something does not make it LGBT. Okay, like, this doesn't even look like the rainbow flag here. It's like rainbow gradient, or whatever you call that. Yeah, and I mean, y'all, I know that I'm queer, but... <laughs> yeah, I did not buy this just because I'm queer. I only bought it because I couldn't find the regular Uno with only regular cards because I don't want any of the special rule cards because me and my friends we don't use those you know like yeah but here's the rules um oh my gosh what are they yapping about on here oh wait I think the paper is so big because it's in a bunch of different languages um yeah. Goodness gracious, I don't remember the rules to Uno being this long. Well, then again, I mean, I've already memorized everything, so maybe it's just really long to me. It goes back. Um, yeah, now as you guys can notice, too, another reason why I did get this is because in stores, at least, you can't get them with the tin. But on Amazon, they did have an option for either getting it, like, the regular packaging, where it's just, like, you know, in, like, a standard, what you'd find, like, a card deck in, you know. But, uh, yeah, I wanted the tin, though, because obviously tins are durable, and that is good. Which, <laughs> so I'm noticing, too, um... Hmm. Okay, maybe I haven't played physical Uno in a while, but I don't remember Uno cards being this small. I mean, especially whenever I seen online, like, how big the tin was. I thought they were going to be bigger. Like, I mean, I'm okay with these, like, smaller cards, but yeah, now I'm, like confused oh yeah also they got the plastic free um packaging which that's good i always like that which i don't really know why they even needed these little thingies in the first place i um yeah i don't know but 
that's okay because it's better than the single use plastic stuff. But yeah, you know what, guys? I will be RB. Okay, because I need to test something. And trust me, guys, this, this is going to be good, okay? All right, so... You guys might remember this from one of my previous videos, but um, what I did with it is I stuck all of my card sleeves that I currently have. Yeah, this is all I have, just a lot of random stuff. But I want to see here, okay? Can, can this fit in this? Let's see here. Um, moment of truth. Actually, surprisingly, um, it's, it's a little bit too small to fit in here, actually. Well, let me word it like this, like, the sleeve is too big. But I mean, man, I'm sorry, y'all. I thought I cooked. But clearly I did not, man. Which, some of y'all in the audience here who is not taking Uno seriously, okay, you might be thinking, okay, like, why the, why the heck... Would you want to sleeve Uno cards? Okay, but I got good reasoning, okay? First off, some of my friends, like, not saying any names, but some of them, they got nasty hands. Like, bro, like, nah, please, wash your hands before playing card games. Like, oh my gosh, don't get the cards nasty. But, like, second off, like, you know, I don't want them to, like, wear and tear and stuff because... Like, I mean, honestly, like, first off, these are nice cards, I will have to admit, because all the colors here, these are literally, like, the same standard colors. The only thing they changed is, like, the wild card, like, yeah, and they didn't even really do anything much to it anyway. What's up with this? Oh. Oh, I don't know what's up with that, but I'm just going to ignore that. Um, oh, yeah, and the back is different. But, I mean, honestly, though, that's okay, too, because, I mean, again, it's not like they really did anything. That's the thing. But also, guys, I will also say, like, this here, it costed the same thing as, like, the other options. So, like, I'm not mad or anything, because, like, it was either buy the standard Uno that for some reason has, like, the extra cards that I don't want. Or I could just buy this with the somewhat tacky looking gradient on it. I mean, I know some of my friends will probably dig this, though, but... Yeah, you know, I went into, like... I think it was the local game shop. Man, I'm sorry. I'm, like, free promoting them over here, man. They need to, like, give me a YouTuber discount or something. But, like, yeah, I went in there, though. And, um, yeah, we came in there asking about card sleeves, man, for, like, just different cards. And I asked about Uno. And literally, I think everyone in the store, like, turned their head. Like, you know, some wacky shit. Because they was like, what? Ooh, no, that's a strange one. And I, I literally just said, like, I do competitive Uno. Like, and I'm sorry, but I do not play with Uno. This is, this is serious shit. Yo. But yeah, let's get into the second package. Um, let me see where this opens. Because also I don't want to damage what's inside of here. Okay, here we go. 
ASMR time. Ooh. So aesthetic. Ooh. Very kawaii core. Yeah. I'm literally going to die from having to do that. Okay. Now that we got that out of there. Now we have more plastic. See, why did this need plastic? You know, this is like plastic waste. This is like, that's bad. Okay. Alright. So, if you guys don't know what I just unleashed from that package, then I will show you. Okay, that is... Oh, I guess I got a little baggy for it. Cool. But, um... Oh, gosh, guys. Ugh, I... Actually, hold on. I gotta save the complaining first. I gotta show you guys what it is. So, let me point the camera down. And uh, here we go. Now, if you don't know what you're looking at, it is a play mat. And, yes, if you guys have not caught on yet, this is a Uno unpacking video. So that means that, of course, I got a play mat. And I'm going to use this for Uno. But until I can manage to get any of my friends over for good times of Uno, I'm probably going to be dragging this to One Piece tournaments, in all honesty, because, um, yeah, I don't have a play mat for that. So, yeah, now this here, the manga is Vampire Night. That's one that I actually read a while ago, so I don't remember everything about it, but I know that guy. Man, I'm having a brain fart moment. I don't remember that guy's name, but uh, I know that's Yuki. That's Zero. And, like, I know these two here, they're like siblings. Trust me, if I tried to explain it, it would not make sense. You'd, you'd just have to read it. But, um... Yeah, I do really like Vampire Night, though. Um, I mean, honestly, at some points, like, the drama low-key kind of feels like Dork Diaries, but, like, it, the vampires. Okay. Yes. Okay, what I was complaining about whenever I first and packed this though and got it out of that plastic um yeah you guys can't smell it because um well you're on the internet watching this but I'm not on the internet watching this I'm sitting in front of this very stinky play mat okay because I've brought up in my videos that I'm nose blind <sighs> Well, I think I probably also brought up that I can smell things that, um, smell very bad. And when I mean bad, I mean absolutely, like, horrific, like, the top scale of bad. Which, I mean, even this, it's kind of like a faint smell, really. But I'm not used to smelling things, so it's still killing me, even though it's very faint. <sighs> <sighs> um, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna let it air out before I go put it away, because, yeah, like, this is very much, like, a very, like, China factory smell, like, yeah, which, I mean, also, too, I paid extra on Amazon just to have the thread, like, match with the picture which I mean I don't regret though because it does look like really fly 
Like, honestly, I have to say, this is probably the most, like, um, I mean, I only half owned, like, one playmat, but, yeah, I mean, this is, like, badass. I mean, between me and my friends, we're probably gonna enjoy playing Uno on this, but between me and, um, people at, um, One Piece tournaments... I wonder what reaction they're gonna have to this. I don't know, I mean, I see a, a few people bring their playmats. And I mean, I've noticed, you know, like, it's either, like, One Piece themed ones, which, you know, I mean, is expected, but... Then there's people who, like, bring in their, like, Magic of... Magic the Gathering ones. And it makes me, like, really confused. Like, I, I don't even know, bruh. Okay, let's see. Let's this fit in here. I mean, I know that'd be kind of dumb if they shipped me something that it didn't fit in, but see, so guys, Barry Coot. I didn't expect this to come with a bag. In all honesty, I don't know if I'm gonna actually use this though, because first off, it looks kind of tack. The second off, though, like, I'm not a big fan. Now, what I was going to say, though, is that I do actually own a playmat. <laughs> I own a different one, but I don't use it for gameplay, though. I use it for something else. Because these things, they are really good at keeping traction. So what I use my other playmat for is actually for jewelry making. But, like, it has a lot of scratches and dents in it where I've used it, like, so much. So, it probably wouldn't be the best for actually playing anything with. And, I mean, also, it's Bayonetta, which, I mean, Bayonetta is really cool. But, I wanted to get something from a manga that I like, though, so that's why I picked vampire knight also because that was like the easiest one to like find like a high quality image of because if you look at this like i mean look at that quality dude like this is actually like really good and i mean like the bayonetta one though personally i think the quality on it is kind of blurry because it looks like something that is just ripped off of like you know, Google Images. Like, I mean, this was also from Google Images, but at least I tried. And I searched up the keyword, like, 4K wallpaper or something. Like, I don't even know. But I'll show you guys what I made for this. Because, you see, what I do with my playmat, which is probably not optimal at all, is, um, I use a loom bracelet <laughs> to, um, keep it together whenever I am not using it. So I made this one a specific loom bracelet. Let me show you guys. Hey, look, I got on there. Ooh, no. If I can focus on this. Yeah, see, ooh, no. Also, I got Sarah because she is my favorite not like character but probably my favorite out of all the vampires my favorite character is Yuki's dad which I'm sorry y'all I can't remember his name currently but I was about to say something that spoilers Okay, y'all, the spoilers really got to me, man, because um, my alarm clock for the morning went off, which I have not slept tonight. But, um, yeah, I mean, this kind of ties in with how I said I do jewelry making. I do stuff out there with loom bracelets, okay? It's just that loom bracelets are easy to fix, though, and they're easy to make. Oh, yeah, and I got a little J on here. For Jake. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how I do this, though. 
Because, I mean, honestly, like, is it optimal? No. But is it cute? Yes. See, guys, this here, this slays, and, um, yeah, bro, this is Slayer, man. Then again, I mean, honestly, I could just put the loom bracelet on and then stick it in the bag. I mean, is that dumb? Yes, but let's try it. After this video, though, I'm gonna have to get it out of the bag, though, because I need to air this stinky playmat out. Bleh. See? Cootie. And, yep, there's the Uno. Which, I am gonna try to find card sleeves for it online. Because... Yeah, the guy over at the local game shop couldn't get any, but I'm gonna go look online because, I mean, surely to goodness, there has to be someone who makes them. Like, please. But, I mean, at least I hope so. If not, then I don't know. I guess I'll be screwed into the doom of having to constantly buy new decks of uno cards but um yeah if you like this video give us a like give us a subscriber and um tell me if you want more uno videos i mean i don't haven't made any in quite a bit but i've been thinking about it though so yeah if you want that to you know, comment down below. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.